We shift our focus to this story. A total solar eclipse will sweep across the Americas tomorrow, crossing over 15 U.S. states. To tell us more, I'm joined by Professor Liro Todilo from the University of the Western Cape's Department of Physics and Astronomy. Professor, good evening and welcome to Full View. I'm sure you've seen the articles online claiming there'll be three days of darkness in South Africa during the eclipse. What is a solar eclipse and, most precisely, a total solar eclipse? So, um, hi, um, Fundo. Um, a solar e eclipse, and uh, particularly a total solar eclipse, is when the moon uh, comes between Earth and the suns, uh, and uh, so that it's perfectly aligned and blocks out uh, the sun. Um, so that will happen during uh, daytime. Um, and um, when the sun is blocked like that, it will uh, become almost a night. There will be, you know, uh, practically uh, uh, darkness. Mm -hmm. And which countries are set to experience that? So um, the eclipse that will be happening tomorrow on the 8th um, will only be seen from um, the USA, basically the whole continental uh, USA, uh, Mexico, and uh, Canada. And the reason that um, an eclipse is specific to particular reasons of Earth is essentially um, when the moon is blocking um, the sun in this way, um, people on Earth see um, the shadow of the moon uh, blocking the sun, and that shadow falls on particular narrow path, uh, paths um, on Earth. And um, for the one tomorrow, um, that path uh, you know, of totality starts in the Pacific, uh, you know, uh, goes through uh, southern, I mean, Mexico, uh, southern U.S., and then um, through uh, north, um, west U.S., and then uh, Canada. Mm -hmm. And by the time um, it ends, um, yes, um, you know, uh, that's all the uh, Earth that will be able to see it. Mm -hmm. And how long will the eclipse last? So um, the uh, time of uh, maximum or greatest uh, e uh, e eclipse is just, um, you know, around um, four minutes uh, or so. However, um, the eclipse itself totality starts uh, around this time tomorrow, um, so around um, 6.38 p.m., and that will be in the Pacific. Um, and then the last place to see totality, that will be about uh, 10 uh, p.m. So different um, people along this path will be able to experience um, the eclipse at, um, at different times. Mm -hmm. And those times have been our South African times. Mm. And then just to allay some people's concerns or to just clarify a few things, there will be no significant impact here in South Africa, no darkness for three days, as some have said, none of that, or perhaps a shift in weather patterns. Not at all. So, um, as I mentioned, an eclipse happens because the sun is, uh, you know, uh, in between uh, Earth and um, I mean, the moon is in between uh, Earth and uh, the sun. And uh, the moon is always uh, going around Earth. Uh, in this case, it's in the phase of uh, new moon. Uh, so uh, new moon happens all the time. It's just a special new moon, this one, where uh, the, you know, the, the moon is just in this perfect alignment so that it actually blocks out um, the, the sun. Um, South Africa experienced one in uh, 2000, um, f 4th of uh, December uh, 2000. Uh, none of those things you mentioned happened. South Africa will experience, experience it again um, in 2030, November uh, 25th. And of course, those things won't happen. Uh, uh, none of them will happen. I mean, there are amazing things that happen, and which, for example, is that because it's during the day and the sun uh, gets blocked out, it goes cooler, you know, there's less heat coming through. And um, animals, for example, um, don't know what is happening. They think it's nighttime when it's daytime. So, for example, birds will all go to, uh, quiet. 
and uh, and all these uh, things um when it's it's happening for this particular eclipse people will be observing sometimes scientists will be trying to learn more about so there are amazing and exciting things and that's why you know everybody's talking about it mm -hmm. but it's the end of the world <laughs> <laughs> now professor just in closing please do indulge us many have always looked up to the stars for meaning talk to us about some of the myths and superstitions around the heavenly phenomena that you've come across um Oh, uh, the myths. Mm, mm. Uh, that perhaps you have heard yeah, and I mean, take this opportunity to perhaps debunk some of those. Oh, wow. Yeah, I mean, I am more on the scientific part. And I think um, for me, um, the, you know, the excitement is that um, our Earth is part of uh, this universe, uh, the stars uh, and and the the eclipse, for example, uh, the way it happens is because uh, you know of the moon going around Earth, and um, it demonstrates that Earth is around, is round, that the moon indeed uh, goes around it, and uh, you know, and that we are part of this cosmos with the sun. Um, and we, the fact that we can predict it so exactly, just tell says so much. Um, about you know um, the, all these dynamics that we know, um, mm -hmm. and of course one old myth was, is that the Earth is flat, and of course that you know this kind of thing would never happen. Yes, if, uh, the flat, settled a uh, long so, time ago. Yeah. Yes, mm. yes. I mean um, there are so many th myths that go around. Uh, you know I I don't pay attention to them unfortunately I, and I can't pick any other besides that big one. Mm -hmm. But we thank you for your indulgence. Professor thank you very much for joining us this evening. That's Department of Physics and Astronomy at the University of Western Capes. Professor Leratodi Lue.